Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Tony Miklasavage, team member of the U.S. Army Heritage and Education Center under the U.S. Army War College in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. As part of the 50th anniversary commemoration of the Vietnam War, the USAC team would like to share the following short video describing a key engagement early in the Vietnam War. Many people are familiar with the 1st Cavalry Division's actions at LZ X-Ray in the Drang Valley, made famous by the movie We Were Soldiers, based on a book of the similar title. This video describes a lesser known engagement that occurred just prior to LZ X-Ray. The Siege of Play Me was a concerted attack by North Vietnamese and Viet Cong forces on South Vietnamese forces and the U.S. Special Forces advisors. The thunder of helicopter rotor blades slashed through the mid-morning air as two companies of Army of the Republic of Vietnam, or ARVN, Airborne Rangers, boarded their rides en route to the besieged Special Forces camp at Play Me. The camp was located 40 kilometers south of Play Ku in the Central Highlands region of Vietnam and was created as part of Project Delta under the command of Major Charles Beckwith, 5th Special Forces Group. Project Delta trained Arvin soldiers in reconnaissance and other special operations tasks, but possessed the capabilities to conduct combat operations with American Special Forces advisors. In October of 1965, leaders of the Viet Cong and the Communist People's Army of Vietnam decided to test not only the soldiers of Project Delta, but also the newly arrived American units of the 1st Infantry and 1st Cavalry Divisions. On October 19th, they launched their attack and began their siege of Play Me. In response, Major Beckwith developed a two-pronged plan to break the siege. First, Arvin Airborne Rangers would be brought into a landing zone seven kilometers from Play Me. Simultaneously, an Arvin armored column, including one company of M41 Walker Bulldogs light tanks, one company of armored personnel carriers, and two Arvin Ranger battalions would move overland from Play Ku to link up with their airborne counterparts near the LZ. Both elements linked up, and after a week's worth of intense fighting, the siege of Play Me was broken. On October 27th, a helicopter assault launched by the 1st Brigade, 1st Cavalry Division drove off any remaining VC or NVA units near Play Me. It was a resounding success for Major Beckwith, who would later go on to become one of the leading proponents for the creation of Delta Force. Project Delta also created a 12-week training program on reconnaissance operations for the newly arrived soldiers of the 1st Infantry and 1st Cavalry Divisions because Major Beckwith cautioned that conventional units arrived in country without any organic long-range reconnaissance capability and felt to be most effective in this war, infantry units must have this capability. The stories of Major Beckwith and the soldiers of Project Delta, along with volumes of other manuscripts and individual soldiers' surveys, can be found in the collection here at the Army Heritage and Education Center in Carlisle, Pennsylvania. In addition to the archives, there are Vietnam outdoor exhibits at USAHEC, including a UH-1 Iroquois Huey helicopter and a reproduction fire support base found along the one-mile Army Heritage Trail. The Soldier's Experience Gallery houses a Vietnam War display containing Experience a Huey, a visual perspective of a helicopter mission in Vietnam using actual film footage from our archives. Visitors and researchers are welcome to search the large paper and digital archive contained in our state-of-the-art research facility. Hi, I'm Major Steve Johnson. If you served in the Army, USAHEC is interested in your story. Veteran survey forms are available on the usahec.org website. If you are interested in donating some of your service-related items, please select How to Donate on the usahec.org website. Your support allows USAHEC to continue to preserve the Army's story one soldier at a time.